Let's take our next question that is question number 19. Now this question belongs to section of semiconductors. It's a pretty easy question. The reverse breakdown voltage of Zener diode is 5.6 volt in the given circuit. That means the potential difference across this is simply 5.6 volt. That means what is left here is only 3.4 volts, right? Now we have to find the current IZ. Now since this and this are in parallel so the current through this would be simply 5.6 divided by 800 that would be equal to 7 milliampere right let's name it as i1 so this is i1 we have found now current from here would be i so i will be simply equal to 3.4 volt by 200 so i'll write i is equals to 3.4 divided by 200 and you will find that this is 17 milliampere so from 17 milliampere 7 milliampere has gone here so this will be simply iz right let's write the iz here so for solution i1 was equals to 5.6 by 800 that was equals to 7 milliampere then I wanted to find I that was equals to 3.4 divided by 200 that was 17 milliampere and the left current will be passed through the Zener diode that is IZ will be written as I minus I1 that would be equal to 10 milliampere. Let's see which is the best suited option among the four options. Yes, answer to this question would be option number three, right? Now let's move ahead with our next question. The question you see here belongs to section of electromagnetism and it's a pretty good question. As per the question you see a thin strip 10 cm long is on a U-shaped frame of negligible resistance and it is connected to a spring of spring constant 0.5 Newton per meter. The assembly is kept in uniform magnetic field of 0.1 Tesla. If the strip is pulled from its equilibrium position and released, the number of oscillations it will perform before its amplitude decreases by E is n. That means initially if an amplitude of E0 was given to the rod, after some time, it became A0 by E due to damping. And between that duration, it performed certain number of oscillations, which was N. We have to find the value of N for the mass of strip is 50 grams and the resistance is 10 ohm. And air drag has been neglected, right? So, if you see this case here, this is the structure. It's pretty obvious if you want to disturb this equilibrium, what you will do is, this is the rod we were talking about. And if I pull it along this direction, the moment I pull it in this direction by distance x, the spring will be elongated and it will try to pull itself back inside and that force would be kx, right? Now when you pull it that side, that results into change of flux and due to that the system will generate an induced EMF and that induced EMF will result in an induced current. This induced current will be in upward direction and due to this induced current an additional magnetic Lorentz force is generated that is equals to BIL right now together both KX and BIL which are in opposite direction to that of the displacement given they will act as a restoring force to regenerate the original position or to reach the original position of the system so when you start the solution, first of all, you have to concentrate on the restoring force. So you will say the restoring force would be equal to minus Kx minus ILB. Now, if you understand the current induced here will be E by R or I will say BLV by R. That is V is the velocity acquired while coming back to the mean position. Now, in this case, if you replace the value of I, you will get restoring force as minus Kx minus when you replace it, it will get B square L square V by R. Focus on this equation. If I hide this portion, you will get F is equals to minus K. This is the perfect condition of SHM if X is very small. But in the case here, you will find there is an additional factor. And this is basically due to damped oscillation. Because the question itself says that the amplitude has decreased in certain period. And if I compare this with the equation of damped oscillations, it will be like this. I hope you remember this equation. So comparing, I will get B, the dampening constant as B square L square by R. 
a very important part let's take this as equation one now you might be amazed why did i find this because it's important you might be knowing the relation for a damped oscillation it is a naught e power minus b t by 2 m right so in the question this a has been reduced to a naught by e in this time t so a naught e power minus b t by 2 m from here you will write e minus 1 this and this will be cancelled that will be equal to e minus b t by 2 m right when we compare this it's easy to understand that 1 would be equal to b t by 2 m or i can write t is equals to 2 m by b and what is the value of b i have just found it for you you can see here b square l square by r so the dampening constant when replaced here it will become 2 m r by b square l square so you have the value of m r m is 50 grams r is 10 magnitude of magnetic field is given to you length is given to you when you put this value you will get t is equals to 10,000 seconds now this is the time in which the amplitude reduced to a naught by e but what is asked to us is the number of oscillations now if i want to find the number of oscillations i need to know what is the time period of one oscillation and that would be equal to 2 pi under root m by k what is mass 50 gram what is k 0.5 let's put down the values so 2 pi into 50 into 10 to power minus 3 divided by 0 0.5 when you solve this you will get time period as 2 second so you have three important equations now this was the time in which the amplitude was reduced this is the time period for one oscillation so how many number of oscillations are there will be simply t by t this would be equal to 5000 so roughly there will be 5000 oscillations performed before the amplitude decreases by e so among the four options option number two is the right answer to this question i hope you have understood this question it's a pretty important and fascinating question now let's move on to our next question now let's take next question that is question number 21 this question belongs to a section of mechanics and the topic would be relative velocity the question is a pretty simple question and if we use a formula it will be solved in easier steps let's see ship a is sailing towards northeast with velocity 30 i cap plus 50 j cap meet kilometer per hour where i points in east and j points in north ship b is at a distance of 80 kilometer east and 150 kilometer north of a ship a and is sailing towards west at 10 kilometers per hour a will be at minimum distance with b in so basically a formula for minimum distance time is required here right so let's see the solution for same in order to understand the solution you would need a diagram and i have already made one for you let's see the solution so this is north and if you understand the question this would be east it's basically y axis here in this direction and basically x axis here in this direction right this is ship b location would be 80 comma 150 right and this at origin is ship a the velocity of a is in this direction and velocity of b is in this direction that is towards west now what is this this is the position of b with respect to a right now if you understand that velocity of a can be written as 30 i cap plus 50 j cap kilometers per hour velocity of b is given as minus 10 i cap kilometer per hour right now what is the relative velocity of b with respect to a it's simply minus of 40 i cap minus 50 j cap kilometer per hour so i have found the relative velocity right and what is the relative position of a b so relative position of b with respect to a we have already found that is equals to 80 i cap plus 150 j cap right now in order to find the minimum time you can use a direct formula that is velocity of b with respect to a dot product of position of b with respect to a divided by 
magnitude of VBA whole square. It's basically the distance or the position between B and A divided by the velocity or the relative velocity of B. So this formula when you put down the values you will get here minus 40 I cap minus 50 J cap into 80 I cap plus 150 J cap right and for the magnitude of the velocity that is the relative velocity I can go for under root of 4100 whole square this is t minimum so when you solve this you will get as 2.6 hours right let's see which is the best suited option here so among the four given options option number four would be the right answer to this question correct i hope you have understood this one now let's move on to our next question that is question number 22